Let me show you guys what we've done to the uh, Magnum. Uh, it's definitely looking a lot different than before. Still a work in progress, but we changed the paint on it. So, she looks a little bit different than last time. We went ahead and put some saddlebags on her. We put a nice little bag in the back with my Polar Pop bag and my ice, well, ice chest. I went and did a see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Clean that off a little bit. And then we did black tops with blue and silver. We hit that with sandpaper afterwards and uh, cleaned all that up. Did the front. And we did the exact same thing to the other side. Uh, this is scraping off a little bit. This is where I was talking about how paint is great but it's not the best. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put a piece of grip tape right here, do a nice little square. And also on the other side, I also painted this so that, uh, you know, it wasn't looking all chrome. We will be painting the foot pegs. Um, I'm still trying to get an oven. I really wanna do some uh, powder coating, honestly because uh, like I said, powder coating is the way to go. It's way tougher. Uh, we also painted up the exhaust uh, covers and I also put the stock exhaust back on from the fart spike. Um, it sounds all right. I don't really like the idle sound, but the uh, as they're going, it sounds decent, it sounds good. I would like to get rid of this and put this one into a uh, black. And I, so I know I locked up the bike already, so I'm not able to pull it out. However, there's the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And we went and did this as well. We also did a blue inside here. And a nice blue cover for the timing. We've got some covers for this. I want to do this black. And again, I'm going to just put a piece of uh, grip tape right here for the little wear mark. But honestly, for a $500 bike, I got probably a couple grand into it now. And honestly, I'm very happy. Still looking this bike up. It's a $3,500 to $4,000 bike. So hopefully with all the customization, maybe if I do decide to sell it once the DRZ is going, we'll have that, which hopefully Saturday, one of these Saturdays, we're gonna get the DRZ motor built and uh, hopefully we're gonna be getting that done. I really miss my DRZ. Street is fun, but it just ain't no, it ain't no dirt.